morning and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Mark and I'm going to take you for a walk around our 2012 HSV Club Sport R8 sedan today. Finished in a colour that Holden call alchemy, or for want of a better word, we'll call it dark purple. Um, starting at the front of the car, a few minor little touch-ups, just from some stone chips consistent with its age. Daytime running lamps uh, directly above our driving driving lights as well. Full body kit, of course, being an R8 club sport. As we move down along the driver's side of the car, as you can see, the distinctive HSV alloys without a mark on them. Extremely good depth of tread in our tyres as well. Our indicators in our front guard with our HSV badging down below that. As you can see, colour-coded exterior mirrors and door handles uh, and the overall presentation of the car is extremely good. A uh, little bit of a buff mark just on our uh, on our black trim there, which is extremely minor, but just something for you to be aware of. No scratches on our right-hand rear alloy wheel as well. As we move around to the rear of the car now, a few things to point out. Obviously, all of our distinctive chrome badging, uh, 325 kilowatts, which we'll chat about shortly, does have colour-coded reverse sensors as well, and a reverse camera also, which we'll touch on a little bit later. Uh, factory spoiler being an R8 Club Sport and it is the 25th anniversary model as well. And as we come around to the passenger side of the car, now once again extremely consistent in the presentation. No scratches on either of our alloy wheels here as well. Or there is just a minor little one on the left hand front alloy wheel. Uh, but the overall exterior presentation of this vehicle, as you can see sitting in the new car showroom, is outstanding for its age. Back around at the front of the car now, we'll have a little bit of a chat about the performance and that's what it's all about in the Club Sport R8. Uh, LS3 6.2 litre V8 motor will deliver us 325 kilowatts of power, 550 newton metres of torque and will deliver 13.7 litres combined per 100 k's. I mean, fuel consumption's not really an issue if you're looking at this sort of motor vehicle. They all have individual build numbers, and this is build number 1901 of the series, but once again, an extremely rare colour. Back around to the rear of the car now, simple matter of just releasing the boot lid by the touch of a, a button on either of our two factory keys. We've got our little cargo net there as well. Really clean, as you can see in the back of the car. Doesn't look like it's had a lot of storage in there. And then underneath our cover, uh, full size alloy spare wheel with a brand new tyre. So it hasn't actually been on the car at all. So here we are inside the Club Sport now, and the first thing that strikes me is how well it presents. For a 2012 model, it actually presents as new. We'll run through all of the features, starting on our steering wheel. We've got enhanced driver interface plus satellite navigation, our volume control and Bluetooth button incorporated in that actual knob there as well. Our audio and trip computer buttons on our left hand side with our knob there just to control between tracks if we're playing a CD or stored music or between radio stations as well. 65,000 kilometres so extremely good case for its age. And then as we move into the centre section here, um, we've just got the ignition turned on. We don't have the car running because we are in the showroom at the moment. Uh, battery voltage, oil pressure, oil temperature as well. As you can see, there's our navigation screen up on display now. As we mentioned earlier, we'd select reverse and there's our reverse camera as well. As I also mentioned, uh, enhanced driver interface feeds us all of the information about the car. Uh, basically, it's performance, torque, pressure, um, fuel consumption and uh, everything at our fingertips pretty much. Down below that, all of our master controls for our audio and then all of our controls for our dual zone climate control, air conditioning and or heating. Small little coin tray in the front there, a traction control button at the front of our T-bar, six speed auto, we can drive it as an automatic or move it across into sport shift and manually go through the gears if we wish to. Uh, button to lock and unlock the doors, our controls for our exterior mirrors and then our power windows as well with our handbrake to the right hand side cup holders behind that and then inside our console storage area USB and auxiliary inputs as well. We'll have a bit of a scan through the interior as well now full leather being the R8 Club Sport throughout 
um, as you can see, basically presents as new. As I mentioned, really low Ks for its age, only 65,000 Ks. Six airbags, front side and curtain airbags, gives it a five star ANCAP safety rating. And then we'll have a quick look at our service history. All of the services have been carried out all the way through, right up to the current intermediate service, which I'll get to. Uh, mainly holding service, of course, and then we've had an intermediate service carried out when it arrived in our possession, and it is a fairly new arrival. So I hope this has given you a really accurate idea of the quality of our 2012 R8 Club Sports sedan. As I mentioned, not out of place sitting on the new car showroom floor, this particular vehicle. So give us a call on 9907055 and one of our friendly staff will be able to help you further.